A brutal late assault by Kieran Nima Barnett ensured that it was Gloucestershire who won the NatWest T20 Blast West Country Derby in Bristol. The margin of victory, seven wickets with ten balls to spare. The match was delayed due to the traffic problems for Somerset who were batting after losing the toss. Nova's lost, but they did lose Stephen Davis who cut the fifth ball to George Hankins. Lewis Gregory got the ball rolling for the visitors with a pick-up off Matt Taylor, which carried the distance. But he was also gone in over number three. Jack Taylor with a well-judged catch to give David Payne his second success and leave Somerset in 12 for two. Johan Mayberg is small in stature but can hit a big ball as Teresa Perara discovered. Successive deliveries from the Sri Lankan hit straight and with exquisite timing, the fifth over bringing Somerset some impetus. Just when it was needed, 17 runs added. Tom Smith joined the attack for the last over of the power play and Myberg tucked into the spinner too. Three immediate fours were followed by this maximum, Smith conceding 24 runs, some set up to 66 for two from six. Benny House stopped the rot by taking the big wicket of Myberg with his second ball, the batsman's entertaining knock bringing him 42 runs from just 18 balls. Howe struck again two balls later, James Hildreth finding Matt Taylor before scoring. Howe with two for two from his opening over, which left the visitors on 67 for four. That became 71 for five after eight, when some confusion led to the run out of Tom Abel, as Somerset began to lose their way. Even more so when Mustard was involved again to stump Tim Groneveld for a single, Somerset stalling to 80 for six at the halfway stage of their innings. Jim Allenby was not happy to be given out, caught behind when Jack Taylor was brought on in the 12th over. The skipper, though, had to go for 21 at 90 for 7. It just went from bad to worse for Somerset. Roloff van der Merwe pulling a Pereira long hop straight down the throat of Peg at short fine leg. Max Waller and Overton steady the ship somewhat in adding 34 for the ninth wicket. That stand ended in the penultimate over when Waller on 17 finding Howell in the deep to give Payne his third wicket. Overton then threw the bat to very good effect, ruining Payne's hitherto fantastic figures. He still took three for 29, but it could have been much better had it not been for Overton's power, his 33 from number nine, at least giving his team something to defend. Somerset dismissed for 146 in the last over when Paul van Meerkeren was bowled by Pereira. A packed house at the bright side had certainly enjoyed the first half of this derby. Michael Klinger picked up where he'd left off at this ground a week before when he smashed 100 against Hampshire by helping himself to an early six in the reply. Must have repeated the dose off a Groenewald's slower ball in the next over, Gloucestershire making just the start they wanted to do in this all-important chase. The score read 43 without loss at the end of the six overs of power play. Mustard, the man who was leading the way, playing a happy in support at this stage. But Mustard then picked out Overton on the long on boundary. And the Merver with the wicket, the former Durham man on his way for 29. Klinger then picked up the reins and a huge hit off Van der Merver, going way over the sight screen and into the flats. Halfway in and Somerset were keeping themselves interested. The host on 68 for one, 79 left to get in the final 10 and Ian Cobain now decided it was time to get on with it. This hit was the biggest of the night thus far, hitting the third tier of the Ashley Down Flats. Gloucestershire with three figures on the board in the 14th over. The one after seeing the back of Klinger for a patient 35, his stumps disturbed by Van der Merwe. Somerset just about staying in this contest. The tension was growing with each ball, but Kieran Nima Barna eased the pressure with this meaty blow off Van McEaren. And his next shot was, well, possibly the biggest scene at this ground since the flats were erected. It was massive. And the Kiwi then struck Van der Merwe into the car park. Another huge hit. And a fourth maximum in successive deliveries for the big left-hander had the match in the bag. His 33 occupied only a dozen deliveries and by the time he was caught in the deep looking for a fifth six in a row, only three runs were needed. Jack Taylor cleared the rope to finish things off, a professional performance from start to finish for the home team. Who took the match by seven wickets with ten balls to spare to climb up to second in the South Group, Somerset being leapfrogged by them. Next up, Gloucestershire go to Northampton on Sunday, while Somerset entertains Surrey at Taunton.